Hi everybody, welcome to the Beauty and Media Makeup live Q&A. Um, we've got Emma and Rachel on who are going to talk to you a bit about the courses and we'll start off with Rachel. Over to you, Rachel. Hi, uh, my name is Rachel and I teach on the Level 2 Hair and Media Makeup, but also on the Level 2 and Level 3 uh, Beauty Therapy courses as well. Um, so today uh, we've got two lecturers with us, so I'll be um, talking more about the beauty side and we've got another lecturer who will give you a little bit more information about the Hair and Media Makeup course. So for the uh, Level 2 Beauty Therapy, just as a, a brief overview of what units uh, we will be covering, um, they are manicure, facial, waxing, eyelash treatments such as uh, brow tinting and eyelash tinting, um, basic makeup, and also, um, did I say facials? Facials, if not. Um, so they're the main units. Um, it's obviously a practical based um, course, however, there'll be a lot of theory um, that will underpin all of that practical, um, all those practical units. Uh, so it's usually over three days, uh, even though it is classed as a full time course, you will be in for three days. Um, timetables obviously aren't um, set at the moment, but you will get information on that uh, nearer the time. Um, Emma, do you want to go over to you with the courses um, for the units for level two media makeup? Hi there, so I'm Emma. I teach the hair for the Level 2 Media Makeup course. Uh, so the units that you'd be looking at covering for this course would include a variety of units that cross over to the Media Makeup side and the hair side, OK? Um, to be really clear, there is quite a meaty section within the hair. Um, even though it's only two units of the course, there is still quite a lot of hair in there. Um, so half of your timetable will be made up of makeup and half will be made up of hair. So you've got your generic units, so you've got health and safety, you've got client care and communication, which are really important to be able to um, work in the industry. You've got um, apply makeup, so you've got your everyday looks there, you've got uh, bridal makeup there as well. You've got photographic makeup, which is more of your fantasy, your um, avant-garde makeup, um, looking at different periods within time as well. You've also got face and body art, so you'll learn the techniques needed to create a variety of different face paint looks. Um, some of the themes might be cartoon or fantasy. You've also got um, so the art of dressing hair. So you'll learn how to style the hair to set it for different looks that you want to achieve after you've learned all the input. You've also learned how to put the hair up and you'll learn how to prepare the hair for these services, so that shampoo and condition the hair. Uh, they all have a mixture of assessment methods, so you'll be observed practically after you've received your input, as well as theory assessments. So you've got written exams and you've got workbooks or assignments that you'll need to do throughout the year. As Rachel said, the courses are over three days, um, generally 9.30 till 4.30. Some years we have had a late evening. We haven't this year, however, that might change next year, you never know. So it's always good to keep that in mind. Really good time to um, get clients in when we're allowed to have them in again. Um, <clears throat> so 9.30 till 4.30, but maybe later if there's an evening. OK, there are some transport ish, um, options available. You can speak to the transports department if you need any help with that. OK, um, we will support you with um, your looks. So we'll give you all the delivery that you need practically and theory wise. You'll have a theory session alongside your practical classes. We'll also go through with you how to develop and create your mood boards that will lead you to planning your final looks for the assessments that you need to create. Um, so mood boards are quite a big part of this course. So if you're not sure what they are now, please go and have a little look um, because we will start them as soon as we start the course. That's one of the first things that we look at and that we do. Uh, I think that covers all of the the units for level two hair and media makeup. That's great, thank you. Um, so we haven't had any questions coming yet, but um, while we're waiting for some, um, can you just give an idea of sort of the careers that people go into um, yeah. after the course? Yeah, I can take that one for the level two hair and media makeup. So the kind of career progressions that you be, can, can be looking at when you come to us at BMC um, with the SMB group, you start off with your level two hair and media makeup. Um, which gives you a really good solid foundation in the hair and the media makeup side. 
of the um, industry. You then have the opportunity to progress on to level three theatrical hair and media makeup. So if you're interested in special effects like prosthetics, bold caps, wigs, hair up to um, an even bigger editorial fantasy look, then that's the next course that you can take. Same assessment methods because it's the same type of qualification as the level two. Once you've done your level three or while you're on your level three even, you will have the opportunity to look at um, the next level. So we have got the chance of going to university with media makeup courses. Um, we've got your tutor who will support you with your application process as well as our student services team. So Amanda Williamson is great at helping you fill out your UCAS applications. Um, so you have got that as well as an educational route if that's what you want to go down. Um, as for employment opportunities, you could be getting yourself set up ready while you're doing your level two, get all your insurance in place so that by the time you've done your level two and you've got that qualification under your belt, you can be offering your services as a bridal hair and makeup artist. You could be offering your self out to do work experience at theatres um, you can go to different bridal shows you could work behind the scenes on tv and film and um, generally once you're to level two a lot of it is work experience you really need to put yourself out there and offer your time okay and, and that will be so valuable to you as well if you can offer your time the amount that you can learn from working on set um, or you know live in a live job is invaluable. Um, there's loads of employment opportunities. You could work in a local beauty salon. Um, you could expand your skills and go on to do short courses as well. You could work on cruise ships if you want to do with some of the qualifications that you get. Um, we sometimes have them come to see us or do workshops as well if that's a route that you're interested in. Um, you could go down to the West End, work on the West End. You could be freelance and you could travel the world or travel the country or stay local. It's really, it's how much you put into it, it's how far you can go with it really. And we have been asked, do many people go on to uni from the course? Um, a good percentage of our level three students go on to um, university or apply for university. So I think at the minute we have got, just let me do a bit of maths in my head. Um, about 70% of the level threes that we've got currently have applied to go to university next year, um, which is a fantastic opportunity. And our students always do really well at university as well. They really enjoy the experience. It's fantastic. Thank you. And um, Rachel, have you got anything else you wanted to add there about careers? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously with the level two, um, the level two beauty can progress on to level three. Um, and you can either do more spa treatments such as massage, Indian head massage, stone therapy massage, or you can go down the route for express treatments, which are um, really popular at the moment, such as individual lash extensions, um, henna brows, uh, lamination brows, all those sorts of things. So it depends kind of what your expertise is and what sort of um, character you are, whether you're someone who would want to be in a salon that's a really busy environment, um, seeing your regular clients on a day-to-day -day basis or week-to-day basis, uh, week basis or going on to a spa where it's you probably see that client once and then maybe never again because you might they might not return you know for a few years um, and the spa is a lot more relaxed environment it's a lot more massages and things like that so they're your um, your main options obviously you can be um, reps as well for uh, product houses um, we have a lady come in from Clarins who usually does a workshop as part of an enrichment at the college um, and she'll talk to you about um, jobs out on the road um, and also in the sales department. So there's that too. And then obviously working, um, you know, at the slopes in France, you know, offering um, spa treatments um, over there or on a holiday abroad. So there's a, there's a big scope that you can um, go on to. So yeah, so they're the, the main career options available. That's, fan That's fantastic. Thank you. And um, someone's come on late and has said, can you just recap on what grades are needed to get onto level two media makeup, please? Yeah, so it will be um, four fours that you will need to achieve to be able to get onto the course. Um, if you get anything above um, a four in your maths and English, then you will not need to do a maths and English at college. 
anything below, you'll be expected to uh, carry on with that in your timetable and you'll be given a slot in the week that you must attend. That's great, thank you. And then another question is, are there any unis locally that do a relevant course? Um, is it Birmingham, Emma? Yeah, Birmingham, yeah, Birmingham do it. Yeah. And then there's one in Bournemouth as well, which obviously is a little bit further away. Yeah. It's Birmingham, yeah. Bournemouth, that your main ones. Yeah. And yeah. um, regarding, um, is there any, any more questions, sorry? Uh, no, not at the moment, yeah. No, you can carry on. <laughs> Just a couple of important things that we've missed off were kits. Um, so for the level two beauty, um, you will get, it'll be roughly around the 200 to 250 mark for all of the kits. So that is including all of your tools for your manicure, your pedicure, uh, your eyelash tinting um, bits, uh, disposables for all your waxing, everything like that, and also your uh, uniform, because uh, you are expected to wear a navy tunic and trousers and black shoes. Um, so that is the, the kit for the beauty. And um, for the makeup side, uh, it's a little bit pricier. Um, you're looking at around the £500 mark. This is for hair and makeup. Uh, your uniform will be included in that as well. You'll get a separate makeup kit, uh, makeup brushes, um, and then a hair kit as well, which includes all your brushes and the training head. So you're able to um, take that away with you and um, practice looks at home if needed. Amber, is there anything else that you wanted to add regarding the hair kit that um, is included or is that everything, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, no, that's everything, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, and someone's asked, do you get many boys on the course? Um, we always get at least one or two boys. We'd love more. We'd love to, we'd love to have more uh, male students as well as the female students, of course. Um, but yeah, we do. We do every year. That's fantastic. And we've also just been asked as well, um, a burst was available to cover the kit costs. Yep, so bursary um, information can be gathered through student, student services. Um, all the forms that you need to fill in um, are given to you through one of the members of the team uh, and they can support you through filling that in so that you get the, um, the right information on there and see if you're eligible for the bursary. What I would say is if you think that you may be eligible for bursary, please can you contact student services as soon as you know you're going to be on the course and find out when that paperwork might be available so that you can get it completed and get that um, kit and uniform ordered as soon as possible. And what we don't want is you to have a delay to you getting any of your kit or your uniform, which then can have a bit of an impact um, on you having the right things ready when you start the course um so yeah if you think that you might be entitled to bursary um please get that information to us and get the paperwork filled in as soon as, as soon as you know that you want to go on the course really it's usually around the summer time so not now um but usually around the summer time that's fantastic thank you um we haven't got any more questions is there anything else that you'd like to add that you think people need to know about yeah can i just say something mm -hmm. Also, um, just to look on our um, Instagram page for Brooks Mountain College, because we on our Facebook as well, because we have a lot of our looks for the level two hair and media makeup and the level three of what they did this year and also what they did last year throughout their lockdown. So if you are interested, it may be something worth looking at so you can see like the looks and the um, creations that they've all, uh, all been researching and doing. So that's really quite fun to do. Um, and while, while you're talking about that, sort of touches on another question is what sort of work should they do in preparation for these courses? Um, you can definitely research the, for the level two hair and beauty makeup, definitely research the eras. So like the periods go from like the 19, you know, 30s, 40s, all the way through to like your 1980s with the crazy permed hair and the the big blue eyeshadow, things like that. Definitely starting to like look at what techniques they use for the hair and makeup. Um, I think a lot of people come on to a hair and media makeup course thinking it's just what they see nowadays on Instagram. Or actually we're touching on the different eras and the different years. Um, so definitely look at that. Um, I do know that hair, um, in hair they do a lot of plaiting and twisting. So if that's something that you're maybe not that confident with, you know, you could use your mum or a sister or a friend and um, when we can, obviously, to um, start plaiting, doing your Dutch plaits and your braids and things like that. Um, Emma, is there anything else that we could work on? Yeah. yeah. 
So I think um, if you are interested in both media makeup and beauty, there is a massive anatomy and physiology part to both of these courses. So we're looking at muscles and bones um, all over the body, okay? Um, even the circulatory system, even in beauty, sometimes down to the cell structure. So it's really important that if you think this might be something that you're struggling with, um, it's school at the minute with biology, have a little look at the muscles and the bones within the body. Just get yourself familiar with some of the terms, especially some of the Latin terms. Um, maybe get yourself a textbook, um, have a look online, do some research. I think that might help you just to get a bit of a, a head start really. So you've got some of those terms in your head ready when you come next year, because that's probably the area um, that is probably the most difficult, but also one of the most important areas really. We don't want to cause any injury to anybody. And by knowing all this information, um, it kind of prevents that, we hope. <laughs> That's great. And someone's also asked, can they apply for both courses and then decide later on which one they want to do? Because they're not sure which one they want to do. Yeah, absolutely. Because you might find that having a, an interview with um, somebody from beauty and then somebody from media makeup, having a really good one-to-one um, -one chat about the courses and finding a bit more of information about it and then having a bit of time to think about it as well because what you might think now in a couple of months time you might change your mind so definitely you can apply for both have an interview for both um, and then when you're sure what you want to do accept the place on the course that you want to go on um, or accept the place on both courses and then obviously make sure you let us know which route you want to go down near the times so that we can make any changes that we need to do and um, for any groups and make sure we get the information out to you that we need to that's relevant to the course that you want to do but yeah definitely that's great, thank you. And we've been asked, do you still have the on-site salon? Yes, we do. We have the uh, we have two salons. Me and Rachel share them. Um, so Rachel will use one for the makeup applications. I've got one for the hair. And then when we're into it, doing full on looks, we open up the middle doors and it's really nice because we can interact between both groups and see all the full looks that are going on. Uh, and then you've got me and Rachel there to assess you. So you get double feedback at the same time, which is great. We've also got um, a specialised room for level three media makeup. Um, that you can use for level two, but also mostly level three. So that's where you'd work for that one. Hopefully when we've got the salons back open, we might be able to do um, a look around in the summer um, or arrange like a virtual tour or something so you can all see the salons. And are they open to the general public? At the minute, unfortunately not. Um, due to COVID restrictions, they've not been open this year. However, usually they are open. We'll we tend to have a session where we are open to the general public for media makeup for specific looks though. We do have to make sure that we specify what the looks are for because they are um, very specific to the students and the looks that they want to create to meet the criteria for the qualification. However, beauty are open to the public um, usually when COVID's not around um, and they will offer full services. So you've got obviously your mani pedi your facials, waxing, tinting um, and level threes have their lovely massages um, and their facials that are specialised um, as well as the eyelash extensions. So hopefully from you know from next year when we're back in from September at some point we'll be able to open up again um, and we'll have our Facebook page running where we can let you know about any client sessions that we've got going on. That's lovely and we've just got time for one more question which is um, how do I apply? OK, so if you want to apply for any of the courses that we offer, you can go on to the Brooks Milton College website and fill an application form through there. And that will go through to our course inquiries department and they will arrange an interview um, with either myself, Rachel, Lorna or Sadiqa, um, which at the minute is over the telephone. So we can go through a bit more detail about the courses um, find a bit more information about yourselves as well. Make sure that um, the course is suitable for you and that you're suitable for the course. And then we can get the ball rolling from there, really. That's fantastic. Thank you. Um, is there anything else you'd like to have? Probably about one minute left. Um, we've got no more questions. Have you anything else you want to say? Mm -hmm. 
Well, I would say just use your time wisely now. If you're interested in doing any of our courses, whether it's beauty or media makeup, just do your research. Uh, make sure that it's the industry that you want to go into and make sure you're prepared for hard work um, because you are on your feet for a long time. Some of our sessions are three and a half hours. They've known to be longer sometimes. Um, so you've got to be prepared to be on your feet for three and a half hours. And if you're working on somebody, it's not likely that you'll get, you know, a long break or a chance to sit down um, because, you know, when you're learning, things take you a little bit longer sometimes and that might not always be the case. Um, if you're working on a live client, you need to give them the full attention. That's fantastic. Thank you. Um, that's everything we've got time for now. Thank you both. Thank you, Rachel and Emma, for uh, presenting. And thank you everyone for attending and enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you. Bye. Bye.